Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here with some interesting coin news. Some of you may remember my somewhat sarcastic video about the Bigfoot Privy Maple Leaf for 2016. And uh, that was sort of aimed at the Royal Canadian Mint. However, as Double Sixes has correctly pointed out, uh, the Royal Canadian Mint, like most world mints, also act as a business. The United States Mint is actually unique in that they only produce coins uh, from an act of Congress or by order of the Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, so other mints around the world do these coins and different designs for different reasons, and they can do them on a whim or however they choose to do so. One such mint is the Mint of Poland, and as you can see, some of these listings here from First Coin Company, we have a cylinder, we have a pyramid, we've got spheres, we've got a 12-sided coin, and uh, now we've got ourselves a volcano-shaped coin. All of these pieces, by the way, are struck. And uh, again, this is from the Mint of Poland. So for $989, you can get this piece. Um, quite uh, interesting. A little bit different for a struck coin. We're going to go over here to this website to take a look at the pictures. These are a little better representations of the piece. And uh, limited to 600 pieces. Not really my cup of tea. But very unique. Very expensive. And uh, as you can see here. On the side, I'm kind of amazed at the technical prowess involved in producing these, those. though this is a six-ounce piece. And you have these different motifs struck and uh, sculpted on the side of the piece. So it's very interesting and fascinating how they did this. It doesn't look like it's cast. It actually looks like it's struck from a die. Um, and here you see the, the bottom, which is the obverse of the piece. We have Queen Elizabeth, $30, and an AG six ounces of four nines fine silver there. And here's looking at it from the top. So very interesting to see a geographic feature um, as a coin. This whole side is the reverse of the piece, and here's the packaging. It looks like it opens up to reveal Mount Vesuvius um, inside. So quite interesting and fascinating to see this. Um, and again, some people might be interested in it. I know some of these other coins down here. I'm kind of curious to see what this open cube shape is about. This thing came out in 2014. 12-sided this thing is. 7 ounces silver. What will they think of next is the question in hand. And in, really, that wasn't a, in a sarcastic manner. I really do wonder what they will think of next. All these different sided coins. All of them very expensive, by the way. $990. Seven Wonders of the World, a spherical, seven-ounce coin. Interesting. I mean, I would buy this if it was cheaper. I know it does take a lot of uh, of craftsmanship and effort to, to produce these things at the limited uh, mintage, but as you can see, it's still available. And, uh, and look, you can even make an offer on it. So I have a feeling that these things probably won't hold their value. They're just too specialized at their limited mintage. And uh, the fact that they're, you know, they're they're neat on, on the surface, but not $1,000 neat for, you know, five, six, seven ounces of silver. Just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this particular piece? The volcano-shaped Vesuvius six-ounce proof silver coin with a limited mintage of 600 I want to extend the multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.